I'd like you to watch. Hopefully it will uh, it'll spark some some serious thoughts. Catch the big game last night? No. You assumed I was a sports fan because I'm black. I was at the theater last night. Well, hey, <laughs> my man. Remember, sensitivity is needed when dealing with others, especially those with different ethnicities and those of the opposite sex. In conclusion, don't be like our friend. Ooh, you people have the best produce. What do you mean, you people? Show the same sensitivity to others that you would like others to show to you. It makes for a better workplace and a better world for us all. Okay. Now, what did we learn from that? Any thoughts? Yes. Uh, only white people can be racist? That's, that, that wasn't the point of the video. Well, it's pretty obvious. I mean, where were the uh, black guys calling white people crackers? Huh? Where were the Mexicans shitting all over the Puerto Ricans? You know? Where were the Chinese people making fun of the Japs who hate the Koreans, who hate people, okay, blah, now, blah, hold, blah, blah, blah. Hold on, hold on. No, this is bullshit. You know what? The only reason we're here is because somebody in our crew called somebody else a name. It was twat, by the way. Just so we're clear. It's just to cover the FDNY's ass. That's all this is good for, you know? Just in case some Puerto Rican woman or some fat Chinese guy files a lawsuit against the FDNY, or God help us, there's another disgruntled female firefighter who thinks she has a case. The FDNY can say, no, no, they can't be prejudiced. They took this horseshit sensitivity training. Let me tell you something. Next time I run into a burning building and refuse to bring out anybody who's not the same color as me, that's when you can bring my angry, sober, pink, Irish ass back down here. Got it? Go outside for a smoke.